What is up developers? Welcome back to the source. In this video, we're going to be making a blog. This blog runs in Ruby on Rails 7. It has bootstrap and rich text and also images. Let's go ahead and create that blog. While it's being created, let me show you what we're going to do. First, we've got to set up the blog with active storage. Run db migrate. And then we need to get these gems in the gem file. Sassy uh, provides support for styling, and Bootstrap gives us all those cool buttons. We gotta pin Bootstrap using import maps. We have to configure the style sheet. Let's do it. All right. So back at the terminal, we see that the app got created successfully. And let's go ahead and CD into the app. All right, let me show you it. So this is the app that just got created. And first, let me get active storage. All right, so we got active storage and we got to run db migrate. Okay, great. Now let's go into the gem file and add those gems I was talking about. And I'm going to specify a version. And I will save that file and run Mundle install. OK, great. So we got Sassy and Bootstrap. OK, next, let's do the import map. This is the way JavaScript is used in Rails 7. Before, people had to use Webpack, and that was a lot more work. All right. Next, let's configure that style sheet. So we go into App, Assets, Style Sheets, and there's the style sheet. Let's rename this to SCSS and import Bootstrap. Now, before I continue, maybe I should quickly show you what the app would look like if we didn't use Bootstrap. For this, I need to create some sort of scaffold of what we're going to use as our main content. So I'm going to do Rails G scaffold, and let's call it a blog. And the blog will have a title, which is just a string. And then it will have a description. Let's make that text. And that should be good for now. After that, let's run Rails DB migrate. And we can see the new views that were created under app and views. You can see that blogs has all these auto generated views for us. Okay, and next, let's uh, change the route. So go to config routes.rb. And we can see the resources blogs is there. And let's do root to blogs index and save. Let's start the server and check out what this app looks like. If I go to the main page, the index should be blogs. And you can see here that the text is like pretty basic. And the font is like the default font that you get in websites. And that's how we know that Bootstrap isn't working. Now let's try something else where we use Bootstrap. Let's go back to 
So I renamed application.css. Let me uncomment this, save. Let me try reloading this. It's taking a little while. But now you can see that the fonts changed. And if I go and edit one of these links, let me sh prove to you that Bootstrap is working. So let's go to blogs. Let's go to index. And let's change the class of new blog to be, uh, button, button primary. That's a Bootstrap button. So let's reload. Let's go to the main site. And you can see there's that fancy Bootstrap button. And that's going to give this website a more modern look. So we know it's working. That's great. All right, what do we got to do next? Well, like at the beginning of the video, I promised images and rich text. So there's something else we got to do. Uh, we have to. we have to add um, action text. So we do this. Um, Rails install or act action text install. All right, great. So we got action text in there. And let's run Rails DB migrate again. Okay, great. So that's created. And next, what we're going to do is to blogs, which is in the database, we can now add this. We can check out the model under app, models, blog, and we can say has rich text, and let's call this story. And next, what we have to do is in the block form, let's add a field, a rich text area. And this will be of parameter story. So make sure to match the same name you used in the model. OK, I'm just going to close these off real quick. And finally, we have to go into the controller, blocks controller. And in the list of permitted parameters here in the private block params, we have to add story. So then save this file. And let's reload the page. And um, let's go to editing it. And we can see that the, the text editor is working. And that's just, that's really awesome. So what if we want to also display this content? We have to go into blogs, again, under views. And then under just blog html.erb, we can render the text like this. We do blog.story. Look how simple that is. OK, so let me add some content. So let's say like my travel in Arizona, deserts and cactus update. And then you can see here, it's going to navigate to the show and you can, and the rich text is rendering there. Let's go back to the index page and we can see there's the first block. Let's make another one just for testing. So let's do like um, app development blog, block two. And then the story will be like, I want to develop apps and Rails is cool. OK, so create that. So yeah, that's working. All right. But I also promised you images. So let's, let's do that. So let's go to the model again. That's how we're going to do this. Model, blog, and we can do has one attached header image. All right, save that. And then we have to add this to the form, just like we added the text in the form too. Blogs form. Uh, copy this and we do form label header image. And we'll do file field header image. Okay, let me reload 
the edit and then you can see there's that file upload in the form which is awesome and then we need to make sure to allow this in the list of permitted parameters under the blocks controller so app controllers blocks controller blocks parameters and then comma header image all right and let's see we have to do one more thing which is obviously render the image once it's showing so let's go ahead to blog.html.erb again and just like we rendered the story we're going to do something a little different for the image though we're going to do if blog.header image dot present question mark end so if it exists let's make an image tag so you do this uh, syntax percent sign equals that means you're actually rendering the Ruby statement into your html.erb code so you do image tag space blog dot header image and that should really be all you have to do so I'm going to save this file and go back to the blog and reload let's choose a file let's do like rails update blog and there you go it is working isn't that awesome now it is kind of big this image is huge and so if we go to the index it's kind of funny looking so I'm gonna do one more thing which is do a little bit of basic styling so let's go to we're already here in the right place so let me do class equals card and then my custom class name will be blog dash card save and I reload now the image is way bigger but the entire blog is contained in this card which is I think a better way to organize your content so in order to make the image not be so ridiculously large let's go to the app C dot scss and simply for blog dash card all the images under it give it the max width property of let's say 100 pixels so I reload the page and there that is a way better looking blog already like this is so cool let me do one last thing and just add bootstrap styling to all of those buttons so if you um, if you're giving a class to a, a Ruby generated link or content you have to do comma and then the class so it, it's not like the div style tag uh, or like the class equals so you have to do class colon so yeah now we got oh uh, not danger because I will do primary danger will be red so let me copy this and for the uh, edit blog I believe or show wherever it's delete I here's delete so show destroy this blog method delete comma class B, btn btn primary so let me just reload this page real quick and then you do show this blog and destroy this blog change it to danger save edit primary will be the primary one back to blocks can be secondary all right save this and then you got these really cool looking buttons now look at this I destroyed it with one click let's add some data to this I believe turbo confirm are you sure that might do that and do the trick so let me go here destroy and then this gives the user a message that uh, warns the user before they destroy their content so that's a, a useful thing to add and yeah uh, let me add one more blog just for fun so I 
let's say like, let me choose a header image. All right, so I'm just adding some miscellaneous content. So I'm like, I'm thinking about like traveling or, or camping. So like camping is fun and then create blog. So yeah, there it goes. Let's go back to the index. And that is the simple Rails 7 blog. As you can see, pretty straightforward, lots of fun. Please leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you wanna see more Rails tutorials. That was all developers.